Hi, Scooter here, Quest Band Manager. They call me the Simon the Cowl of the North, Louis the Walsh of the North West. You may have seen me in things such as Pop Idol, Idol, Pop Stars, and maybe it's even X Factor. Anyway, we're here to talk about the Quest, the Ollie Clark story. <clears throat> I first seen the guys years ago in a place called Rio's. Beautiful, beautiful little club down in Wally. Its real name's Rendezvous, but the cool kids call it Rio's. There they were, Ollie, Chad, Rick, and the other guy, I can never remember his name. There they were, chewing their faces off on God knows fucking what, but I always had an eye for detail, and with my extensive knowledge of boy bands, 90s boy bands specifically, I approached the boys. I said, listen, I can take you places. I I'll be your guy. So, next thing we know, we're plugging them on MySpace, MSN Messenger. Their contemporary electro pop cock rock certainly was unique, and it's what the industry needed at the time. Before you know it, the first album went triple platinum. <laughs> We'd struck gold. We'd hit oil. No looking back, but it wasn't too long. Fame got to their heads. They started bickering, the infighting, Ollie, Chad, always fighting over the knickers that were thrown at them. It always seemed to be the same knickers, always the same pair as well. There were these little groupies that used to follow us round. It was always the same faces. I don't know how they got in, but anyway, that's that. Ollie lost his concentration. He lost his focus. He started drifting. She spoke to him, met a guy called Dave, Dave Ardell. Started doing park runs, <laughs> fucking park runs. Who'd want to do any running? Why would you want to run? <laughs> Gay! <laughs> anyway, from that, he started going into things like CrossFit, and then he started powerlifting into weights. Fuck knows what, was th what he was thinking. Anyway, I hope his balls haven't shrunk too much from steroids. But, you know, things, people move on, th things happen. <clears throat> The split. I've not spoke to Ollie in a long time. Um, so if you do see him now, I've wrote a few words out. So please pass this on to him, this message. <sighs> Ollie, you were working as a waitress in a cocktail bar when I met you. I picked you out, I shook you up and turned you around. I turned you into something new. Now, years later on, you've got the world at your feet. Success has been easy for you. But don't forget, it's me who put you where you are now. And I can put you back down too. But don't, don't you want me? You know, I can't believe it when I say, you say you won't see me. Don't, don't you want me? You know I don't believe you when you say you don't need me. It's much too late to find. I think you've changed your mind. You better change it back or we'll both be sorry. And that's all I've got to say on the matter. But best of luck to you.